वेलकम बैक एवरीवन दिस इज द क्यून ए सेशन थर्टी थ्री फ्रॉम द प्लेलिस्ट ऑफ जेई मेन्स पार्ट टू द टॉपिक इज द मोशन ऑफ ए चार्ज इन यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड आई हैव टेकन वन क्वेश्चन व्हिच वाज आस्ड इन द जेई मेन्स एग्जामिनेशन इन द ईयर टू द क्वेश्चन हियर इज एन इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटोन एंड एन एल्फो पार्टिकल हैविंग द सेम कैनेटिक एनर्जी आर मूविंग इन द सर्कुलर ऑर्बिट्स ऑफ रेडियाई आर ई आर पी एंड आर एल्फो रिस्पेक्टिवली in a uniform magnetic field the relation between r e r p and r alpha is so there are uh, we have been given four options here and we have to find the correct options so uh, here uh, the electron proton and the alpha particles are having the same kinetic energy this is the first thing which is provided in this question the second thing is that they are moving in the circular orbits <coughs> of their radii r e r p and r alpha respectively when moving in a uniform magnetic field so uh, uh, as we know that uh, uh, when a charged particle enters a uniform magnetic field and if it is moving in a circular path then in that case the necessary centripetal force that is mv square by r is provided by the magnetic force and the formula for the magnetic force is q v b where b is the intensity of the magnetic field v is the velocity of the charged particle q is the magnitude of the charge on that particle r is the radius of the circular path and m is the mass of that charged particle so from this uh, equation the radius of the circular orbit will be equal to this will be equal to uh mv upon qv now here the electron proton and the alpha particles are, are having the same kinetic energy now the kinetic energy as we all know that is equal to half mv square so this can also be written as half m square v square by m i have multiplied the numerator and the denominator by m so this can be written as half m v whole square divided by m now this or we can say that mv square is equal to 2 mk or mv is equal to under root 2 mk so what i will be doing is now that i will be substituting this value of mv as under root 2 mk in this equation so the radius of the circular path can also be written as 2 mk where k is the kinetic energy m is the mass of that charged particle q is the magnitude of the charge on that particle and b is the intensity of the magnetic field now here uh, uh, from th uh, this question uh, we can uh, see that the intensity of the magnetic field b is constant the kinetic energy of this uh, electron proton and the alpha particle is also the same so r that is the radius of the circular orbit will be dependent on or it, it will be uh, it will be proportional to under root m upon k sorry under root m upon q because b is constant k is also constant so the r that is the radius of the circular orbit will be proportional to under root m upon q so for the uh, for the electron this uh, r e where r e is the radius of the circular orbit uh, for this uh, electron so r e is will be proportional to under root m e divided by q a q is the charge on the electron which is given by e and me is basically the mass of the electron so similarly the radius of the circular orbit in the case of a proton will be equal to under root m p upon e because the charge on the proton the magnitude of the charge on the proton is also equal to e so rp is will be proportional to under root mp upon e so i will be writing these uh, uh equations 
that is RE will be proportional to under root ME upon E RP is proportional to under root MP upon E now the alpha particle as we all know consists of two protons and two neutrons so the the charge on the alpha particle is equal to uh, 2 E and uh, this uh, this equation that is R is equal to under root 2 mk divided by qb uh, can be written as R alpha will be proportional to under root 2 times mp plus 2 times mn where mp is the mass of the proton and mn is the mass of the neutron because in alpha particle there are two uh, protons and two neutrons so this is the total uh, uh, mass of the alpha particle and this will be divided by 2e now i have uh, written here on the board on the top uh, left hand side that is the mass of the electron is equal to 9.11 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg the mass of the proton is 1.6726 into 10 to the power minus 24 kg and the mass of the neutron is 1.675 into 10 to the power minus 24 kg. So here the mass of the pro uh, neutron is greater than the mass of the proton and the mass of the proton is greater than the mass of the electron. But uh, while doing the calculations, we normally consider that the mass of the proton is equal to the mass of the neutron. So if I consider the mass of the proton to be equal to the mass of the neutron, then R alpha will be proportional to what? This will be equal to root. This can be taken as, uh, this since mass of the neutron is equal to mass of the proton, so I will be substituting mn by mp, so this will be equal to 4 mp divided by 2e, and this will be equal to what? This will be equal to uh, 2 under root mp divided by 2e, and 2 and 2, 2 will get cancelled out, so finally I will be getting as root mp divided by E. So if we consider that the mass of the proton is equal to the mass of the neutron then in that case R alpha will be proportional to under root MP upon E and so in this case R E will be less than R P because the mass of the electron is less than the mass of the proton and this will be equal to Rp will be equal to R alpha and this is this relation is when the mass of the neutron is considered equal to the mass of the proton. Now if the mass of the neutron is more than the mass of the proton which in the true sense uh, is, uh, is uh, given by this these two values that is the mass of the neutron is 1.675 into 10 to the power minus 24 and the mass of the proton is given by 1.6726 uh, into 10 to the power minus 24 kg so in the true sense the mass of the proton sorry the mass of the neutron is more than the mass of the proton so in that case this r alpha will be will be proportional to under root 2 mp plus 2 mn divided by 2e so in that case if i consider that the mass of the neutron is more than the a mass of this uh, proton then I will be getting the relation as Re is less than Rp and this will be less than R alpha. Okay. So <coughs> here they have given two uh, alternatives that is uh, this B and C. Here B is equal to Re is less than Rp which is equal to R alpha which we have already got it uh, by considering the assumption that the mass of the proton is equal to the mass of the neutron. However, if the mass of the neutron, since the mass of the neutron is more than the mass of the proton, so if I consider uh, the actual values of the uh, mass of the proton and the mass of the neutron, then in that case, this relation will hold true. That is, Re will be less than Rp and Rp will be less than R alpha. So in, the sec and so in that case, this option C will be correct. But if I am considering that the mass of the neutron is equal to the mass of the proton, then in that case, the option B will be correct.
So thank you very much for joining this session. In the next session, I will be coming up uh, with a, a uh, different type of a question, but it, the, the topic will remain the same. That is the motion of a charge in a uniform magnetic field. So till then, have a nice day. Bye.